Chicano photographer George Rodriguez has just about seen it all. His newly released book, Double Vision, features more than four decades of LA history captured beautifully through his camera lens. Originally, uh, my idea for a book was going to be on the Mexican American Chicano experience. You know, in fact, it was going to be called uh, Así es mi raza. But uh, in meeting Josh Kuhn, the writer, he, like other people most recently, had said, mm, you know, it's bigger than that because I worked in so many areas. I think I did everything but weddings and babies. <laughs> in the book, uh, you'll find uh, there's going to be 200 photographs, and they vary um, from the different areas that I work um, in rock and roll and Hollywood and civil rights. Uh, everybody from ECE to Marilyn Monroe, um, sports figures like Fernando Valenzuela, boxers um, like the Maravilla Kid, Ruben Navarro. So it covers um, five or six different subjects. This whole uh, photography journey began when I was in high school at Fremont High School in South Central LA. They had an incredible photography course, and then I just loved it once I got into it. When I worked in photo labs, especially I worked in the Hollywood area, so I was processing film for real photographers that had studios. To me, those were the photographers, not someone like me just out there scuffling and trying to make it, you know. I mean, living in L.A., it's one of the best things that ever happened to me, you know, especially because of what of my profession. Like when I worked at Columbia, I was a manager, so I was able to take off during lunchtime. And uh, if there was something happening, like specifically, I recall the walkouts at Roosevelt High School. And when things are happening, um, it doesn't seem that important at the time, but later it's historical, you know. Like that one photo here of uh, Jim Morrison and Van Morrison. Well, I was there to shoot Van Morrison, to do an album cover on him. Uh, and the doors were just the house span at the whiskey. You know, the doors hadn't even released an album yet, so I did the liner photos on the first Jackson 5 album. I knew that, you know, that kid was gonna be a superstar, but uh, I didn't realize to what extent. Sometimes, you know, like if, um, I've had an exhibit like on the farm workers, and I never expected people to get so emotional because it's their lives, you know. It's, they're not there viewing these photographs as being historical. They're seeing people they know. Uh, you know, people, just regular people, they're the ones making the history. And you're just there kind of like the fly on the wall to cover all of that. I, you don't think about that until later you, you recall those moments and uh, then they seem did, like, did that really happen, you know? Let's turn our attention to a woman from East LA who developed a love for photography through a community program. Now she's saying thank you in the most creative way. I have grown to be very proud of where I'm from and of my beautiful and revolutionary ethnicity. My exhibit is called Thank You Islos and the theme is about showing appreciation to the East LA culture, traditions, music, dance, everything that I was given growing up here. Metzli Garcia was also given a unique opportunity by an organization that was founded in 2010 by another photographer, Eric Ibarra. His focus on therapeutic photography and photography for social change led him to create the Las Fotos Project. He saw a need to give teenage girls a creative outlet to build their confidence and self-esteem. Since then, Las Fotos has worked with hundreds of girls throughout Southern California, empowering them through self-expression via the art of still photography. Being in this program, it gave me an outlet to, to share and have a voice somehow through art. I definitely have opened up a lot about myself through my images. It's the student leading the whole experience, and so I had to choose the frames, I had to put up the photos, I had to choose my subject. In essence, you're the reason I created this exhibit because you're the community that has been a part of my life and has always given me so much love and hope. I feel like a lot of the times when it comes to East LA, we automatically focus on the negative, and that's a lot of the time. And yes, there's that, but that's not just here. And I wanted to focus on the positives, really showing the beauty, but also the struggles that it faces and that I faced along with it. Four themes that I thought were most important to me were low riding, because my dad was the one who introduced me to that world, and then um, protests and marches, which I was huge 
be involved with in high school. And then I also did Chicanas. And then I did Danza Azteca, which is something that was a, a big part of my life at a young age. And I wanted to share all those things that were important to me personally. People in East LA come to support young artists. And that's exactly what I've gotten from East LA. All love, support, and hope. Students are encouraged to critically examine the world around them and to be selective when deciding which moments are worth capturing. Photography definitely made me feel more comfortable in sharing how I feel and what I have to say about issues in the community. I definitely want to come back once I'm, I'm done with college or also on the side, you know, on the weekends, coming and, and being able to help out because this it's an amazing program. We hope you continue to enjoy our stories here on Vista LA, but you can also watch them online at abc7.com slash Vista LA. I'm Annabelle Munoz. Thanks for watching. You love the broadcast? Now like Vista LA on Facebook and follow us on Instagram.